Welcome. In this video, I'm going to prove the divergence test for you. Now, I'm not going to prove it directly to you in the sense of the way I stated it up above. I'm going to show you that if a series converges, then the limit of its terms must be zero, which is going to be equivalent to what I said before, because if the limit of the terms is non-zero, then that means um, then the sum must diverge. That's going to be a contrapositive, which is equal. So I'll start by supposing that the series, the sum from a1 to infinity of an, converges to a value l. That means that the limit of the partial sums of the sum from 1 to infinity of an has a limit, and that limit is l. But we can say that the nth partial sum is equal to the previous partial sum plus the next term, right? That's how we get to the next partial sum is by adding one more term. Which now means that I can substitute on this Sn right here, right, with this value, and it'll still be equal to L. Now I want to apply a limit property here, right, and split that limit out but, so that I can write the limit of the sum as the sum of two limits. And I know that as n approaches infinity, n minus 1 is also going to be approaching infinity, right? So I know that this right here is equal to the limit of Sn as n approaches infinity. And that's just going to be equal to L. Okay? And so L plus the limit of the terms is equal to L. I'm going to need just a little more room. But this means to me, if I subtract L from both sides of the equation, that the limit as n approaches infinity of the terms of the series must be zero. Okay, which is what I'd hope to show you. Okay. Now, if I know that, that if a series converges, then, it's li then the limit of its terms goes to zero, I can say that if I know the limit of the terms is not zero, I know the series diverges. And that's the nth term test for divergence. So thanks for watching.